Wood's career would take a dramatic turn in 1965. It's a zombie nudie film called Orgy of the Dead. Oh my God, what have I degenerated to giving this movie a review? It's something that has to be seen to be believed. Far more deserving of the title worst film ever made. It's directed by A.C. Steven, who probably didn't use his real name for good reasons. Ed Wood was the writer, casting agent, and production manager. Even though he didn't direct it, it spells Ed Wood all over. In the beginning scene, a couple's driving on the road. The close-ups in the car are nighttime, but the outside shots of the car are broad daylight. More drastic than Plan 9, especially since it's in color. But there's so many wonderful things to write about, Bob. Sure there are, and I've tried them all. Plays, love stories, westerns, dog stories. <laughs> now there was a good one, that dog What's story. What's this guy talking about? Yeah, I write plays, love stories, westerns, dog stories. What the hell? So after a few minutes of shitty dialogue, they run the car off the road, which the POV shot relentlessly spins. So they wake up in a cemetery full of ghosts, with the leader being none other than Criswell, uttering all that strange dialogue that's become his trademark. The day is gone, the night is upon us, and the moon, which controls all of the underworld. It's also been rumored that the cape he wears is actually the same cape worn by Bela Lugosi in Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. At his side is the Queen of Darkness, originally meant for Vampira, but is played by Fawn Silvers. From that point on, the whole movie is just naked dancers as Criswell watches with delight and makes funny commentary. Throw gold at her. <laughs> More gold. More gold. <laughs> Wondering why I'm censoring a woman who seems to be fully clothed. Well, trust me. There's also a werewolf and a mummy that join the fun. Why? Well, why not? There's a scene where the werewolf howls. You can see the skin under the mask. You can also see the seams on the floor, and sometimes the fog is obviously coming from a fog machine as it comes out in sudden bursts. There's also stock footage of a rattlesnake. Again, it's in pure daylight, doesn't match anything, and it has no purpose there. But what it all boils down to, it's one of the most ridiculous movies I've ever seen. There's the Indian dance, skeleton dance, gold girl dance, cat dance, slave dance, Mexican dance, Hawaiian dance, fluff dance, zombie dance, and black ghoul dance. If you see this movie from beginning to end, you'll just ask yourself, what the fuck am I watching? I don't know what to rate this one, but if I give it anything more than one skull, I might be crazy.